Now let's talk about inventory balances and adjusting quantity on hand. To begin, let's come in here into the vendor navigator and let's look at our item list. Let's maximize this window and you can see that this on hand column shows our quantity on hand per QuickBooks for inventory parts. In other words, items that we have a type code of inventory part. What if these amounts are wrong or we want to verify them? Let's close this window and a good way to do that to reconcile your quantity on hand is to do a physical inventory count. QuickBooks has a report designed just for this. Let's come here under the vendor pull down menu and let's come down to inventory activities. Here's the physical inventory worksheet. Notice that this worksheet has a blank column here so we can walk around our warehouse or our store, count inventory, and write the amount that we count in this column. We recommend that you delete or remove this column. Let's take an example. Let's say that we're going to ask our warehouse manager to go around and do the physical inventory count. Well, we don't want the warehouse manager to know what our accounting records show as being the on-hand quantity. In other words, we want the warehouse manager to just be counting the items and writing them in regardless of what we're showing. So let's remove this column by clicking on this diamond and dragging it past this diamond. Now we print this report, give it to our warehouse manager, and ask him or her to do a physical count. Next, the report comes back and we notice we have some discrepancies and we need to adjust our inventory. To adjust our inventory, come in here to adjust quantity on hand. Here, this shows all of our current quantities. We need an adjustment account. This is for the accounting behind the screens. QuickBooks needs to take the inventory adjustments that we're going to make somewhere on our financial statements. Let's click here and let's look for the appropriate account. We scroll down in our list and we don't see something like inventory spoilage or inventory adjustment. So let's create an account, add new, expense account, inventory adjustment. Click OK and now QuickBooks automatically brings that account in. We notice that based on our warehouse managers count that we only have 120 cabinet pulls in stock. QuickBooks reconciles the difference and puts a minus 10 here. We also notice that we have an additional five items in our standard doorknobs. So let's put 115 and QuickBooks adjusts our inventory by 5. Click Save and Close and now we can go look at our item list and see how we've adjusted both of those items. Now our inventory is correct.